Okay, in this video, we're gonna talk about using the text tool, um, creating text, and how to turn our text into SVGs. If you click Control Shift T, it's gonna pull up your um, text and font panel on the right. If you scroll down and find Impact and select it, and then down here at font size, I put mine at 75. And then your bar down here will be lit up and you it, and click set as default. And you can set um, a different font, whatever you want to set it as. But um, like, like I said, I set mine at impact at 75, set as default. And then we can close that out. Now, let's use this. Um, so click on your page and you can use um, you can just start typing and let's see I'll put AMJ tutorials you can type that you can enter and uh, keep typing now the only thing that I suggest is when I'm typing out words and, and say I'm getting ready to type out hello darling I would type hello as one word and then darlin as the next word because sometimes we like to change different colors of our text. Now if I don't like this font and I'm like I want darlin to have a different font, I can come in here and highlight it, go up to my font, click down and change it and then if I want to resize it like we did our just like we did our shapes um, I'm gonna keep the proportion of the text so I'm gonna control shift and left click and drag out and then place it and just like the text you got um, your height and your width that you can change up here if you have a specific height that you want and if I want to change the height to 2 and I want it to automatically go whatever size the height of 2 whatever the width will be then I want to lock that down so it'll automatically change the width for me to know what will look right but um, if you the object that you're working with if you want to see it closer and you select the object press the number three key bar, keyboard key on your keyboard and um, it'll bring it closer to you and if it's too close press the minus button on your keyboard or if you want it closer the plus button now if we want this closer or further apart we can press the alt key and the arrow tabs to make it further apart. Now, so all I'm doing is I'm selecting in my text box in between the letters that I want space and I'm holding the alt key and I'm pressing the arrows and if I want them to have more spaces in between I'm pressing the right over arrow. and that'll bring them further apart. Say if we wanted both hello and darling to be red. I can select hello and I can press the shift key and select darling and it'll select both of those. So I can go down here and put it to red. Okay, say if I wanted hello to be red but I wanted darling to be blue. You just select darling and go down here and click blue. Say if I wanted um, the letters to be different colors on hello. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to go up to path, object to path, and then we're going to go to object, ungroup. And this is gives you individual letters where you can click on the H, change the H to a different color, and 
so on with all the other colors. Now, if I'm like, oh no, I want all of them to be one color, uh, click your left mouse button, drag a box over them to select all those letters and change them back to red. Okay. Now, say this is our design and we're ready to cut it. We're ready to save it as an SVG. I'm going to touch on about what I said earlier is when we're sending something to our Cricut or our Silhouette or our Scan and Cut, it has to be converted into a path. It has to have nodes. Right now, Darlin does not have any nodes. So to create paths, we always go to path, object to path, because it's an object, it's, and then object, ungroup. And now you see that each of these are nodes. These each have paths that our Cricut will read and, and it'll know where to cut. Now, another thing is, is they're all separate, as you can tell. Look, they're each individual, they're each individual little person. So when I send it to Cricut, and this is like a thinking process too, like where you just kind of got to think about how, how you want Cricut to cut it. Um, do I want Cricut to cut each individual red letter out or does all of the these go together? Clearly all of those are going to go together and I want to cut that out as one. So I'm going to go to path and union it. Um, Darlin, for instance. If you sent this to Cricut individually, if you can see this, and we'll zoom in by pressing the three key, do you see the nodes in right here? So Cricut would cut this out and have a cut line right here for each individual letter. Well, we don't want that. We want all of them to be one. So go to select all of our letters. So we'll select the D, hold the shift, select A, R, L, I in and then we're going to union those together. Okay, let's do um, hello sunshine. Hello. Sunshine. Okay. Let's move this over move this in. I'm going to resize it up. Okay, and I'm going to change my font for sunshine. So I'm going to click the text tool. I'm going to highlight it. Go up to my font and I'm going to get Magnolia Sky, which that's a downloaded font, and I'll help you with that later. And this is a good time to touch on this. Do you see, and I've only ran into this with Magnolia, this specific font, and this is the only font that I've had trouble with. When you see this, it kind of just, it drags and it's very slow and it doesn't catch up with it when you're dragging it. But um, once you convert this into a path and, and it has nodes on it, it'll be back to normal. So. All right, so I changed my font to this. And then now we're going to convert these into paths. So our Cricut will recognize it and then change the colors. So I'm going to go up to path, object to path, object, ungroup. If I'm not changing individual colors, then I'm just going to union them. And that's normally what I do. I just get in the habit of pressing my text, path, object to path, object, ungroup, path, union. And now do you see that it not, doesn't drag? Okay, so now I'm going to change sunshine to a yellow and hello to a light orange. OK, 
Okay, now let's click and make sure that these have nodes around them. Yes, they're all connected, so you can kind of highlight on top, and then the red shows you that it is um, able to, your Cricut is able to read that. So now I want to group these together. So whenever I um, put it into Cricut that they're together, they don't scatter all over the place. And group just means um, if you were wanting to rearrange these or you can. Now if you union them together, they'll be one solid color. So if they're separate colors, when you get with, done with a um, design, I always just group everything. So go object and group. So it all stays together and make sure that that's in your box. We'll delete these. It's in your box. We can make sure that our um, measurements are correct. I'm gonna lock it and I'm gonna just put my height at five. Okay, make, now this, we're gonna save it as a SVG and an SVG is a vector file and in our terms, it is a file that Cricut will be able to recognize to cut vinyl. It's going to cut the object's uh, design, shape, text, whatever it is. If it's saved as an SVG and it's saved correctly as an SVG, then it will cut this out of vinyl. Okay, so make sure that it's uh, placed in the top left hand corner of your square. We're going to go over to File, we're going to Save As, I'm going to pop up a box. I'm in my Documents. I always like to make sure that it's in my Documents. And I'm going to name it Hello Sunshine. And then Save As Type, I'm going to make it as a plain SVG and Save. And that's it. Now, let's just touch on our previous lesson of stroke. Just, just let's say we wanted a stroke around hello, just an extra touch. So we group this, right? Let's ungroup it so we can work with the um, specific word hello. So go to object, ungroup, and then let's select hello and say we wanted a black stroke around it. And what we're going to do, we're gonna hold shift. Anything we want to add a stroke to, we're always holding shift, and then we're gonna press, find our black, and press it. And if I want a thicker line, which I just selected hello and press number three to bring it closer, minus to zoom out, if I want a thicker line, I'm going to, in the bottom left, I'm going to double click the measurement. I'm gonna change it to inches. And I'm gonna change my width. And that looks a little Halloween-y, but it's just example, so. Okay, so now we've got a stroke around our hello. Now, when you're saving a stroke to cut out, which this wouldn't be smart to cut out a, as an SVG because this will be very thin lines and I feel like your vinyl will just crumble up and be crazy, but this is just an example to help us um, get, fam get um, familiar with learning how to add strokes around objects. But if you were going to create or try to cut this stroke out of vinyl, um, you go up to path, stroke to path, and then now that stroke has nodes around it, so your Cricut will recognize it. So let's select both of these either by um, selecting, holding shift key and selecting the other, or you can hold your left mouse key and drag a box around all of it and then let's group it. Object, group, so it doesn't scatter when we bring it into Cricut. And then again, file, save as. 
name it hello sunshine stroke go down and make sure we save it as a plain SVG and click save and that's it